Yo, Electric Warriors, welcome back again, and guess what? It's time to unleash the 2024 edition of the Ultimate E-Bike List, the top 10 machines that'll have you buzzing with excitement. From city cruisers to trail tamers, we got something for everyone, so buckle up and get ready to hit the subscribe button, cause this is gonna be electric. You can buy these electric bikes from the links that are given in the description below. So let's get into it. 10. NIU BK C3 Pro. One compromise you have to make with many electric bikes, budget or not, is their range. The more pedal assist you use, the quicker you're going to drain its battery. The NIU BK C3 Pro is the best budget electric bike for those who have range anxiety as it packs two batteries that can provide you as much as 90 miles before they run out of juice. And in our testing, that claim looks pretty accurate too. Aside from its endurance, there are a lot of other necessities we found on this bike for the price. For starters, it has a carbon belt drive, which is not only quieter, but lasts longer and is easier to maintain. Then there's the mechanical disc brakes, front and rear lights, and a built-in rear rack. The bike's step-through design made it easy for both a 511 rider and a 53 rider to hop on and off. 9. Hertopia Carbon 1S If you're going to ride the next generation of transportation, why not make it as high-tech as possible? That's what the folks at Ertopia did with the Carbon 1S first. It has a carbon fiber frame, which makes it extremely light, just 33 pounds. Some of the best electric scooters we've tested weigh more. But it doesn't stop there. The bike also has a fingerprint sensor, voice control, turn signals, an anti-theft alarm, and GPS tracking. No one wants to lose their $2,000 ride. The fingerprint sensor was handy. We just pressed our thumb to a small pad on the right handlebar, and the bike turned on. Try someone else's fingerprint, and you get a nasty-looking face on the bike's display. If someone tries to make off with the bike, a really loud and obnoxious siren goes off, and if that still doesn't deter them, you can track the bike using its built-in GPS tracking and 4G eSIM. After the first year, this feature will set you back $39. 8. Juiced Rip Racer the Juiced Ripe Racer is a lot more fun than it should be for a lot less than you might think. It's one of the more affordable off-road bikes we've tested, and it can go just about anywhere. This fat tire ride has a 40.3-inch wheelbase and 20-inch wheels designed for trails and other unpaved surfaces, though its lack of shock absorbers means a rougher ride than with so-equipped e-bikes. This bike has some serious pep, and it flew just about everywhere we wanted it to go. We really liked its low-end torque which made it great for getting up hills. However, it has a cadence rather than a torque sensor, so it takes a rotation or two of the pedals for the assist to kick in. As it's a BMX-style bike, the Ripracer is a lot smaller than other mountain e-bikes, which also makes it easier to maneuver around tight spaces. 7. Yuba Supercargo Seal The Yuba Supercargo Seal can haul an astounding 500 pounds, making it one of the heftiest electric cargo bikes in its class. Yet it offers a surprisingly stable ride, thanks to its low center of gravity. Its cargo area is very customizable, letting you convert it from a place to carry groceries to a space to tote your tots to soccer practice. Magna hydraulic brakes and a Bosch mid-drive motor were very responsive, though the relatively small 20-inch tires and lack of suspension did make bumps feel a bit jarring. The Supercar OCL starts at around $6,000, but is incredibly customizable. You can select from a range of accessories to adapt the cargo area to suit your needs. If you're looking for a cargo bike that can haul more than the Rad Power Radrunner 3 Plus, this is the model to consider. 6. Go Cycle G4i Plus The Go Cycle G4i Plus looks like something a supercar designer would build which isn't surprising given that it was conceived by former McLaren sports car engineer Richard Thorpe. Not only is this bike's unique wheels on one side and tapered body eye-catching, but we were able to fold it up in less than a minute into a size small enough to get us on and off a train and past our security and into our office elevator. At 36 pounds, it's one of the lightest folding electric bikes out there too. Despite that, this bike was a real pleasure to ride. Its electric shifter responded near instantly, as did the pedal assist and throttle. However, while the G4 i Plus has daytime running lights, you'll have to pay extra for alleged headlight, as well as mud guards. Also, the G4 i Plus has a great smartphone app, but one of the flimsiest methods of holding your phone on the bike itself, 
a cheap solution for a bike that costs $7,000. 5. Aventon Aventure 2 If you're looking for a fat tire electric bike that's less than $2,000, the Aventon Aventure 2 is hard to beat. It's as good off-road as it is on pavement, has a beefy battery and a clear color display, as well as fenders that'll save your clothes from getting too muddy. Other necessities include a brake-activated rear light and turn signals. The Aventure 2 has both pedal assist and throttle modes, and the battery and wires are neatly integrated into the frame. What's more, the battery can be removed for charging. The battery lasted nearly the advertised 60 miles on a charge, but as with other e-bikes, we drained it much faster when we relied on the throttle. While not as capable as a dedicated mountain bike, the Aventure 2 was able to get us up and over hilly terrain, and its torque sensor was quick to translate our pedaling into power. 4. Rad Power Radrunner 3 Plus How is this for an endorsement? Our reviewer loved this bike so much that he decided to buy one for himself. While it can't haul as heavy loads as some other larger and much more expensive cargo bikes, the Rad Power Radrunner 3 Plus is more than capable of carrying you, your kids, and plenty of groceries wherever you need to go. We loved its responsive 750W motor, its comfortable ride, and its low center of gravity thanks to its 3.3-inch thick, 20-inch tires. However, we found it to be fairly heavy, tipping the scales at 75 pounds, so you're not going to want to try pedal it without any power assist. But we found its advertised 45-mile range to be pretty accurate so long as we didn't go too heavy on the throttle. Aside from its performance, what made the Radrunner 3 Plus stand out so much to us was its versatility. You can outfit the bike with any number of combinations of racks, seats, bags, and other accessories to truly customize it for your needs. And, its relatively low price for a cargo bike makes it a real bargain for those looking to replace their car with an electric bike. 3. Charge Bike City If you plan on commuting to work, Charge Bike City may well be the best e-bike for you. Not only does it come with features like full fenders to keep the mud off and a rear rack for a pack or bag, but it does everything well for a very reasonable price. The Charge City has a 5-level power assist, as well as a full power throttle button, should the need or hill arise. The biggest reason why we think this bike is best for commuters is that its handlebars fold flat, so you can more easily store it in an apartment or a cubicle at work. It comes with all the necessary bells and whistles a commuter is going to want, including the bell, actually a superior and very loud electronic horn. The bike is available in both step over and step through, and in a few color options too. The city's electric assist is so smooth you'll think you're doing all the work yourself. At night, the bike's lights sufficiently lit up the road and the throttle helped us sip around potential trouble when we felt out of gas. 2. Aventon Sultra 2 The Aventon Sultra 2 is the successor to our previous top pick among the best budget electric bikes. This modestly priced model costs less than $1,500 yet sacrifices very little in the name of economy. In our tests, we found it very comfortable to ride, and it looks great too. We also like that it has features you won't find on other budget electric bikes, namely the built-in turn signals, which are a real help when riding in traffic. Aventon says that the Sultra 2's battery should get up to 46 miles per charge, a claim we found to be fairly accurate in our testing. However, the Sultra's rear hub motor does feel a little underpowered, especially on hills, but thanks to a torque sensor, it's a lot more responsive than the original Aventon Sultra. If you're looking for a low-cost electric bike to get you around town, this is definitely the model to pick up. Be sure to check out the best budget electric bikes for more picks. 1. Rad Power Rad City 5 Plus For the vast majority of riders, the Rad Power Rad City 5 Plus will be the best electric bike. It has a comfortable design, plenty of power, and a multitude of mounting points for things such as baskets and child seats. Plus, it comes with a rear rack and mud guards. Its seven-speed shifter, combined with three levels of pedal assistance and a twist throttle, is more than enough to get you up even the steepest of hills. Rad Power says that the Rad City 5 should get upwards of 50 plus miles on a charge. In our testing, it came fairly close, about 40 miles. We really enjoyed pedaling around on this bike, which is offered in both step-through and step-over models. Its battery, while not fully integrated into the down tube, provides plenty of range and can also be used to charge your phone with the right adapter. 
At a starting price of $1,999, it's reasonably affordable, but you should check out our Rad Power Bikes promo codes for the latest discounts. So there you have it, folks. The top 10 electric bikes of 2024, ready to take you on adventures you never dreamed possible. Remember, the best e-bike is the one that gets you riding, so get out there, explore, and let the good times roll. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more electrifying e-bike content. And until next time, happy riding.